answered the phone, and him and his mom and sisters were screaming <laughs> so loud. It was the best ever. It was the best first meet, I think, for me. So my mom is a huge fan of the show and also is Whitney's biggest fan. So, like, the last couple of weeks, my mom's like, is it Whitney? Is it going to be Whitney? Is it gonna? I'm like, Mom, I have no idea. So she when so cute. when we oh slid gosh. the little FaceTime icon, my mom just freaked out. Like I had like almost probably closed my eyes because it was like piercing the sound. So it was so cute. It was very flattering. Very flattering. Obviously watched the Olympics, and I actually did watch the luge, and I was a big fan of Grit, so I was so excited. I'm so happy. What have you seen his point before? I don't think point get it up there, but it's so good. It's actually not good. too bad. Look at it! And I do wear this suit all the time, so it's... She's like, oh my god, I'm you're really wearing the same thing it. as the Olympics. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm like, so you're not afraid to wear tight clothing, that's good. But are you afraid to wear ruffles? I've never done and the stones. ruffles and the sequins and the stones. I haven't... I've never done that, so... Uh, okay, well, we're going to break some in world. real quick. It's a new world. I have no idea how everybody is. Like, I don't know if anybody can dance. Obviously, they're all athletes, so they're going to be competitive. They're going to be coordinated. So that much I do know. So it's going to be tough, tough competition. It's going to be incredible because it's competitive. All athletes are competitive. Yeah. There are the few athletes that are just naturally gifted, but they still have to work hard. Right. And all of the athletes here will work hard. Yes, and, uh, exactly. And you will work hard, right? Because you want to win, Absolutely. Right? Am I putting words in your mouth? Or you no, no, no. Number one, don't let mom down. Right. That's number, number two, one. win. Boom. <laughs> With dancing, it's something that I'm not really used to doing. Whereas luge, like, I can show up to a track, like, at the Olympics. Okay, this is, this is my, like, happy place. Being on top of the track, like, really tough conditions. Like, that's what I'm used to. I love that. But... Doing that in front of a million people dancing, that's going to be tough. Like, obviously, my body's going to have to take over because if I'm just, like, staring out, like, the worst thing is to go out there and then just, like, freeze on stage. Like, I forgot everything, Whitney. (laughs) I'm sorry. I'll just manhandle you across the floor. (laughs) Go here. Go. Go here. Just start twirling around. Backflip. 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 When in doubt, backflip. Go. (laughs) That'll be plan B. Remember how I said I always have a plan B? That'll be plan B. Okay. Just a backflip. Just go. We're going to have fun. We're going to be the couple that has the most fun out there. We're going to be joking around. We're going to be working hard. And you're going to follow along. Obviously, everyone loves Whitney. So that's a good reason to vote. But more importantly, like, you're going to want to see all the stupid stuff that goes on in rehearsals. <laughs> and the only way to see that is to vote for us and get us to the next uh-huh. week. So okay, that's, that's why good. people are going to want to vote for us. Because they're going to want to see us having fun. And yeah. I mean, we're going to be doing backflips. We're going to be just doing a bunch of crazy things. But not till the finals. So you got to vote for us to yeah, get us there. Yeah, if you want to see the backflip, then you got to vote till the yeah. final. You're like, oh, you know what? I don't want to do this, but y'all voted for me. It's so <laughs> it was. A little bit earlier. But it was fire, though. It was good? It was really good. Like, fire and ice, I heard. Um, she was the fire and I was the ice. So I was more of the, you know, that. calm, the cool, the chill. She Wait, was more the electric. Name? That could be our team name. We, we, team fire and ice? We might have just found that it. right here. <laughs> All right. You like that? Yeah, I like it. It could be the one. It could be. Meeting, meeting Josh this morning was awesome. I, I walked into the room, and I love the energy that he puts out. He's so calm and humble, but I know underneath that there is this fiery competitive beast, and I can't wait to unleash that on the dance floor and see what that means be my first time in a professional setting uh, I, I did a couple of dances and stuff just on my own just you know when I was traveling I went to Puerto Rico and I did a little you know a little pub dance you know a little salsa ringy kind of little thing you know I got taught a little bit of the two-step and um, she kind of brought it back to me a little bit today <laughs> yeah we did a little salsa yeah but I'm more of a um, kind of a two-step guy I told her uh, I'm a two-step guy so it's going to be a little bit more elaborate this time around. Just sure. a tiny bit more than a two-step. <laughs> much yeah. more. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. <laughs> yeah, we got just a couple minutes to play around with some dance moves, and we did a little bit of salsa. Uh, and I noticed that Josh can really move his hips quite well, picks up movement really well, mimics really well. All the things I need for this competition. 
Yeah, she's gonna whip me into shape. <laughs> but I told her I'm gonna, I'm gonna really make her look good, though. It's gonna be her more so than me. I'm just moving her throat, just swaying. You got the right idea. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> the mindset and the willingness to work, work hard. I think that's what I'm gonna bring to the, the table. I, I think a lot of athletes gonna gonna bring that workmanship mentality, but I don't know if they're gonna bring that blue collar. Okay. That's the difference. That's the difference. That's gonna take place here. Um, that blue collar finest as they come down in the mud, just trying to get it, mm-hmm. trying to get it in a way of being successful. And the only way to do it is work hard. Mm-hmm. I think we're gonna do a good job at that. Up, there's no saving things for the journey. There's no you know revealing things about yourself. You have to give it all on the first episode, and that dance counts just as much as the next one. So for us, it. The work is turned up to 100 straight away. And it's going to be shocking who goes home. And it's going to be really cutthroat. And we just have to put everything out there on the dance floor. Also, everyone is an athlete. Everyone is high-level competitive. Everyone is in it to win it. Everyone has that bug of wanting a gold medal or a mirror ball or a first place, whatever it is, or a Super Bowl ring. Everyone is in it to win it but we're in it to win it the most. I'm really embarrassed, but I didn't know Alan, but then I did my research, and he's a YouTube star. He was on So You Think You Can Dance. He's had, like, a lot of dance experience, so um, I'm excited to work with him, and I think we're going to be a great duo. I'm super excited. When I found out I had Mariah, first of all, she's so hardworking and dedicated, but she's also an Olympic figure skater. That is a dream come true. This was after five minutes of interaction. He was like, I know, (laughs) we we got it. Yeah, she's really dedicated. After yesterday we met, she was scheduled the rehearsal right away. So I was like, I got very lucky this season. Ballroom to figure skating. Uh, I I had a little mini lesson the other day. And the biggest thing for me is that I'm used to being a leader and I'm not a follower. I don't like when people are like pushing and pulling but like I learned the other day that I need to like be firm and be a follower and I'm prepared to like be put into place and I'm going to take my criticism and learn from it and it's going to help me on the ice and on the floor. The most challenging part for me will be being with a partner. I'm so used to being alone that um, I've always wanted someone to like hold on to and be like, we're in it together. And so I'm really excited about that, but also I'm a little scared. So this season is full of competition just because it's 10 athletes, but also it's it's a shorter season. So we have to hit the ground running right away. Yeah, we don't know what elimination will yeah. be like. I think it'll be like double, triple double elimination. And, and I don't want to be eliminated. Yeah, we don't want to be eliminated. You can't win if you're eliminated. Yeah, I think our goal is to make it to the finale, and then, um, you know, uh, I've seen the clips where people are, like, standing nervously, and I want to do that with Alan. Like, he's my partner. We're in it together, and we're in it to win it. I love it. The first moment that Jenna and I met, we screamed at each other's face. and Like, jumping up and down screaming. Yes, and then she jumped onto me, which Naturally. I took as a test. That I passed. Can I lift her or not? Yeah, and I held her there, and I did a spin, and I put her down, and I was like, I can do this. Well, I think my edge is that I always bring a little bit of my sense of humor into my hard work, so we can work the long hours, but we'll have a really great time the whole time, and we'll get a lot of work done. I've always been a performer, and I've always been on the ice, and that has been sort of my secret weapon as a competitive figure skater, is that I was always known as more of a performer. I also feel that, like, I don't have any trouble stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm willing to take risks. I just want someone, A, that wants to work hard, and I can already tell that we won't have issues with that, but anyone that's willing to just commit to it and go for it is my dream partner. My dream partner. 
Well, I've had a lot of friends who have done the show, and I've come and I've watched them, and I've always thought it would be so cool to do the show myself. I have never danced with a partner before. I've never learned how to dance. When I'm out on the ice, I'm just doing my own thing. If something goes wrong, change it. <laughs> if it's not going well, fix it. I can't do that now. Jenna's watching. You can. I can't. If something goes wrong, <laughs> fix it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy but you know what this competition I think you know after everything that I've been through to get to the Olympics and now here with Dancing with the Stars I feel like it is a time for me to step out of my comfort zone push myself and get right back into that competitive mindset and I think that we are going to have a great time I think we're ready to win this they said I should go surprise her in Louisiana so I flew in to surprise her at like her uh, ranch it was huge <laughs> and had animals everywhere and horses cows and goat and she was just chilling feeding a goat and i said oh hi um what's the goat's name and she just went um wait what <laughs> yeah so it was bad reaction but uh it was fun i think i was super excited you know to be part of it like i said Kyo totally caught me off guard. I was not prepared at all. My kiddos were standing out there, and they were in on it, so they were super excited to be in on the surprise. And sure enough, I turned around, and there's Kyo, and he was taller than me, and that was my biggest concern. It's like, yes, I got height. All right, we're going to do this thing. I'm in now. So I was nervous about the whole height thing. I'm six foot one, but Since you're not. we're golden. I saw yesterday, and we, we danced a little bit, and... Uh, I think so, we walked. <laughs> yeah, we, we did. I mean, I always I told you the basic technique of dancing and, you know, a couple of steps. Baby but, like, step. she picks up very quickly. And, like, her memory is, like, very good. And she remembers steps, which is the key, you know, repetition all the time. And, like, she understands because also her spot, it kind of works the same as dancing, you know, because when she throws the ball, body twists. And the same as dancing, your body twists all the time. So. I'm confident under pressure, but I feel like it's, it has to be built up. It has to be earned. And so that's, I'm looking forward to the journey of repetition and getting confident in doing so. So I, I know that Keo will prepare me for the live audience. I'm nervous. Yes. It's, you know, I, I think too, just being six foot one, I, I don't ever wear heels really. And so that's another hurdle I think that I have to overcome, but we're going to do it and we're going to practice our tails off in general is hard, let alone going against other athletes. I am comforted a little bit because I know that they're out of their realms too, and so we're kind of all trying something new. I am a little nervous about ice skating and the more artistic sports because I feel like they have an edge, but from what I hear... I like you looking at me. <laughs> I know, but I know. You, you said like the gymnasts and ice skaters, they tend to sometimes overthink it or... Yeah. So maybe, maybe that's not true. I mean, like, but to I me, I like, think it's a disadvantage not like being that kind of sport. Every athlete. athlete, though, you know, they have that competitive side of them, like where it's like, do it now or never. I hope viewers vote for us because we're fun. Yeah. We bring joy, and bring it's a challenge. Yeah. Yes, positive and we work energy. hard. And I think I think both of us are hungry for this. You know, we're both hungry for the mirror and I think we've meshed. We've been meshed very well. <clears throat> and I think um, she brings that positive energy, and I bring the positive energy, and like I think that energy just like dwells well together. So, um, America, there's the uh, there's the season. We want to bring the mirror ball back to South Africa, back to Louisiana. <clears throat> yeah, back you said you want your boy to win, so this is the, this is the time. She's amazing. <laughs>